Today we're going to be visiting with Kevin Harper. I'll let him introduce himself here in just a second. We're in Wisner, Louisiana at the answer plot today, making another check on these beautiful beans. And uh, what I've asked Kevin to do today is give us some insights on how to kill these beans. And so as we look at that, Kevin, as a, an agronomic practice in the North Louisiana and South Arkansas parts of the Delta, what are we talking about when we say we're going to go kill some beans? Well, if, if you remember, and you, you may or may not remember, but we did a video here a while back, and we talked about squeezing maturities, earlier maturities further south than uh, maybe what the old zone map said. So we're growing these group four beans and they're indeterminate. They may catch a rain here late and they may try to kick off growing again. We can, we can get an early harvest if we can get, uh, if we can get some uniformity in the killing of the beans and they will naturally die out, but we're trying to get it uniform. We're trying to get it where we can uh, improve harvest efficiency and quite a few different things like that that we're going through. One of the things that people, growers tend to fuss about sometimes is, is the green stems. So we can do a good job of knocking that out. That's right. I mean, when you, if you, if you let a soybean mature naturally on its own, uh, you may still have some green leaves or limbs or stems, and in some cases, green stalks. This is gonna slow you down harvesting. You know, and you say, well, another mile, mile and a half per hour on the combine may make up, you know, we're trying to get everything out as quickly as we can. I see you've got some plants today. You're gonna to show us what growth stage, what are some bean plants supposed to look like when we get to this point? Yeah, so when we get ready to, when we get ready to spray them, we want to be at uh, maturity 6.5, which means that the beans have, they have touched, they're, they're fully mature in the pod, but once you peel back the, uh, the pod, we want that white membrane to stay completely on that pod. And you can see here, it did not. It tore off with the bean. So these would be, what, Jeff, 6.2, 6.3. They're, they're really close to being fully mature, but we still have probably four or five days before we, we could spray this bean and to kill it. Gotcha. And, and uh, what, in this area, Kevin, what what would be a, a kind of a typical program as far as going out and killing beans? What are growers, what do they have in their arsenal to ask for when they go into a retailer, a Winfield United retailer? What are they going to ask for to kill these beans? Well, you, you have really kind of two options with several different chemicals. You can use sodium chlorate if you're wanting to actually dry down the pods, dry down the seeds, and it will uh, get you in the field earlier, uh, the sodium chlorate will actually dry down the pods, will dry down the beans quicker. If, uh, if you dry them too quick, it can be, uh, have a negative effect on yield. I would say where you would use that would be if your beans are about ready, but you're trying to get ahead of a storm, maybe a hurricane or whatever, you could go ahead and get that out and get, you, get your beans out in a few days. Uh, most folks in this part of the world go with a herbicide type program. They're going to use a Paraquat or a Sharpen or a combination of the two. Seems to work really well. And you want to use the, the hottest adjuvant you can find, which in this, uh, this situation would be a MSO, a methylated seed oil type adjuvant. And as far as uh, uh, pre-harvest interval, you get, if you use the Paraquat, you need to wait 15 days to be on label. With your aim or with sharpen alone, uh, you have a three-day pre-harvest interval. But with the with the paraquat and the sharpen, it seems to give you a really good uniform uh, soybean field, soybean plant. That it's just it just makes it so much easier. To Very good. So, it, as far as uh, how many acres we'd want to do in a day, kind of just depends on the combine power that we have. Don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves, I guess, is what I'm asking. No, you, you would set it up in stages and, you know, based on maturity, if you start with the, your four threes and go to your four nines, just just stage it along with the, with the horsepower you have with your harvesting equipment. Very good. Well, thank you, Kevin. We appreciate your insights today. 
and as we pan back across the yield trials at the answer plot at Wisner they'll soon be dead thank you all for watching this is Jeff Pangle technical seed agronomist Winfield United talking about the next 10 days killing beans in North Louisiana thank you for watching